Welcome back to Thomcraft Quick. In this episode, I'll show you how to get started with alchemy in Thomcraft. Alchemy is a crafting mechanic we'll use to make items similar to the Arcane Workbench. Open your Thomonomicon to the Alchemy tab and go into Basic Alchemy. You'll need to make a Crucible, which is a vanilla cauldron clicked on by a wand. We also need water in the Crucible and we're going to need to heat it. I've got some netherrack placed down. We'll light it on fire. We'll place our cauldron on top, take our wand, and right click. And that gets us the crucible. Don't forget to scan it. Now we need to add some water. Let me get a bucket real quick. Alright, bucket of water. And in a few moments, it will start bubbling up. So, I've gone ahead and made an infinite water source. So now, let's make something using alchemy. In the Thaumonomicon, on the Alchemy tab, is Niter, a mystical flame. It's a good heat source and light source. In fact, we can use it to heat the Crucible, which is the first thing I'm going to use Niter for. So, let's see how to make that. We need to get aspects in the Crucible. To do that, we break down items that have those aspects in a bubbling Crucible, and then throw in a catalyst. In this case, Glowstone Dust. So we need to find items that have Ignis, Lux, and Potentia. On the Basic Information tab in Aspects of Magic, if you hover over an aspect like Ignis, you'll see what items you scanned that have those aspects inside it. So I know Coal has Ignis in it. I also know Coal has Potentia, and Torches have Lux. And you want to try to balance things in your Crucible as much as possible, because if you have leftover aspects, you will end up with them breaking down and creating flux. And as with warp, it's more bad effects we want to avoid whenever possible. So, we need three Ignis, three Potentia, and three Lux. So, I've got six in total of all of those with these aspects, which will get us two Niter with two Glowstone Dust Catalysts. So, go over to your Crucible, aim inside, and just drop your items in. There we go, Niter. So, I will go and scan this real quick. And now I want to replace that burning nether wreck. So, I'm going to get rid of the crucible for a moment. We need to shift right click to empty it. Break it down. Get rid of the nether wreck. Get rid of that. I want to get some dirt to replace that real quick. And now I can use niter in its place, place the crucible back, put some water in it, and in a few moments it will start bubbling, showing that it is a heat source and we can use niter instead of nether rack, which I think looks a little bit better. You can also use lava, but be careful if you do that you don't have any wood or anything that can burn around here because lava does bubble over and you want to be careful of that. Alright, so that's the basics of Thomcraft Alchemy. See you next time.